everyone welcome to my channel It's lady J. I need to go to the store to get ingredients to make my meatloaf and some macaroni and cheese so that's what I'm about to do so you can come and ride with me if you like you know that I'm the queen of overthinking it's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now baby no I had actually forgot that I told him that I was going to make me love today when he was leaving out the door getting ready to go to work he said sweetie don't forget about the meatloaf I was like oh okay I'm glad you reminded me so this is where I'm that's where I'm headed I guess I need to go to Walmart because I don't want to have to run to different stores to get the get everything that I need it's another warm day today I don't plan to be out that long today I'm going to Walmart even though one of my favorite stores is over here by Walmart which is Ross I might just peek in for a few minutes just to see what they have in here so we are here so let me run into the store and get the few items that I need to cook this delicious dinner today. <laughs> so the hair is, it is what it is today. Put my mask on. I didn't make a mess, so I know just about what I need to make my meal for tonight. So I can't leave my food in a cart too long. So let me head into Walmart. Hello everyone, welcome back. I've made it back in the house from the store and I just want to share with you the items that I got from Walmart. Okay, so I got some Captain Crunch crunch berries, onions, baby Swiss cheese, I got some Sara Lee honey roast turkey, I got some green peppers, Great Valley frozen peas and carrots, some bird's eye super sweet corn, frozen corn, two patches of three pound ground beef that I need this to make my meatloaf with, ice cream sandwiches, some Haagen-Dazs chocolate ice cream. Also got some Snicker ice cream bars. And actually these need to go in the refrigerator, like right now. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can get you off my mind. Ooh girl, na na, ooh girl, na na. Baby girl, don't need to flex the Okay, and I picked up some Pure Leaf Raspberry Real Brew Tea. Two of these Simply Lemonade with Raspberry. Some Simply Orange Pulp Free Tahitian Treat Fruit Punch. Next, a barbecue pork, pork rind. Two cans of cheddar cheese soup. Some Milo Seasoning. Brown Gravy Mix. Tomatoes. And some eggs, two cans of pet milk, a two pound box of elbow macaroni, some sharp cheddar, and some Kobe Jack shredded cheese, which I got three of each of these because I'm gonna use this later also when I start cooking. Some um, 2% milk, I got some cooking oil, I got some bananas, some Scott Peterson hot polo sausages and this Scott Peterson hot hair cheese. Some Cheetos corn puffs. Two packs of grandma peanut butter cookies and some halls of Coca Cola Zero Sugar, Canadian Dry Zero Sugar. And then I got the regular 7-Up. 
So that was everything that I picked up from Walmart. And I went there just to get something to cook for dinner tonight. But of course, you always need other things and other items. So this is everything I got. So let me get off of here and let me prepare my countertop so I can start cooking this fabulous meatloaf and my macaroni and cheese and my vegetables. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Lady J. I'm getting ready to start cooking my macaroni and cheese and my meatloaf. The first thing I'm going to do is to chop up my green peppers and my onions. Of course, let me wash my hands. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you Okay, so now I'm getting ready to put the ingredients um, to make the meatloaf together. I have three pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna use one pack and a half of this meatloaf seasoning. Um, it is 1.5 ounce. And on here it says, if you're making two pounds of ground beef, you would use one package. So, I have three pounds, so I'm gonna use one packet and a half. And then I've already cut up my green peppers and onions. I'm also going to use, I don't have any, I thought I had some crackers, but I don't. So I'm going to use the back ends of the bread. I'm gonna use two slices of the bread. I'm gonna crumble this up. I'm going to use one egg and one fourth cup of milk. So first I'm going to open this ground beef and place it in the bowl. And again, this is three pounds of ground beef and it's 75% lean. This is three pounds of ground beef. I have one green pepper and one onion chopped up. That's going in there. I have one fourth cup of 2% milk. And I have one egg. I'll beat this egg up before I put it in with the other. Just pour that over there. And I'm gonna just mix this all in together. And some of these green peppers, some of the green pepper and the onion is a little, is chopped up a little bit thick, but that's okay because once this starts to cook, everything's gonna get soft and it's going to just mix all in together. So, again, three pounds of ground beef, one onion, one green pepper, one fourth cup of milk, and one egg beaten in here right now. So now I'm going to just crumble up the two slices of bread in here. I Sometimes I use crackers. I don't have any crackers, which I thought I had some, and they may be in there and I just overlooked them, but I just grabbed some bread, make some breadcrumbs. You can use breadcrumbs or you can use crackers. So if I was using crackers, I probably would put about five saltine crackers in here. But since I don't have any crackers, I'm just using the um, bread and just making breadcrumbs. And you see how I'm doing? I'm just breaking it up with my fingers. And then just stir this in around there.
And this, mix this mixture for the ground beef may look a little dry, but once it starts cooking, you know ground beef makes some juice. So it's gonna be fine. It's not really dry, it's, it's actually moist. But just make sure you stir it up very good. And then I'm gonna add the meatloaf seasoning. So this is 1.5 ounce of meatloaf seasoning and I'm going to use this whole bag. I'm gonna put this over here, put this on here. And I'm going to also use like a half, a half a bag of this one. It's not really a full bag, but half of what's in here and just sprinkle that over there. and just mix this all in together. And again, I have my oven preheated already to 400. And this usually takes about an hour to cook. I also put in some tomato sauce. I almost forgot that. So let me open this up. This gives it some flavor too and also a little bit more. So yes, that's everything that I put in there. You just stir all this in together. I think three pounds is enough for me and my family. It's just three of us, me, my husband, and my son. So this will be plenty. Just make sure you stir it up good so your things blend it all together. And this actually <laughs> smells good already and it hasn't even started to cook yet. That meatloaf seasoning, green peppers, onions, the egg, the milk, and then the tomato sauce. So, but this pan cooks things very good. And I'm just gonna spread it around. Oh, some of this needs to be stirred up a little bit more. Some of the season was in the bottom of that pan. So let me just spread this out. Very simple recipe. If anyone knows they've made meatloaf before, this is a very simple recipe that comes out really good every time. So I used to just spread it around the pan and then just go around the sides with whatever utensil you're using. Just go around the sides like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour, and then I'm gonna start making, or preparing the macaroni and cheese. And the oven is set to 400, and I'm gonna let this cook for an hour. So I'll come back when I start to make the macaroni and cheese. Stay tuned. So the oven is set for 400 and I'm going to put this timer on for one minute. Not one minute, I'm sorry, for one hour. Maybe an hour and 10 minutes and I'll check it to see if everything is okay. Okay, so time to start making the macaroni, but I'll Get back to you once this is almost done. So the water's starting to boil. Water's boiling, so I'm going to put my Cremex macaroni inside this boiler and let this cook for about, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's tender. So I'm gonna use half of this box for this. So the macaroni is boiling in the pot. Well, it hasn't started to boil yet, or a little bit. I'm gonna let this cook for about 
I think 15 to 20 minutes and it should be tender. Then I'm gonna rinse it off and start preparing the next part of the macaroni and cheese. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. So I had to pin my hair up and put my headwear back on. So I pin my hair up because it was all on my neck and it was really bothering me. And I was, I was one thing that's for sure, you cannot <laughs> cook and be cute at the same time. You're either gonna sit around and look cute and talk or you're going to cook. You can't do both. If you can figure that one out, you let me know. So, it didn't work for me. I was trying to look cute at first, but right now I'm just trying to cook. <laughs> Cause I am wasting too much time. So, let me wash my hands again. And the macaroni is cooking. Well, matter of fact, I still look cute. But my hair is just pulled back and I have headwear on my hair. So let's go back over here and see what's going on with this macaroni. So this is almost ready. So you can just take a look at that. It doesn't take this long to cook. So just the macaroni just falling. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna use this non-stick Denmark um, pan to put my cheddar cheese soup and the mixture for the macaroni in. So this should work out. Well. It's non-stick. Almost ready. And actually, you don't have to let this macaroni cook fully, so it's just real soft, you extra to it, because once this gets done, I'm actually gonna put it in the oven also for about 30 to 45 minutes. So you don't want it to cook too long. And actually, let me turn this down. I'm gonna turn this off. So this is the macaroni and cheese. cheddar cheese soup. There's two cans of cheddar cheese soup and these are ten and a half ounces each. One can of pet milk. So one egg. I always say butter but I like using my country crock spread. I put the pet milk in it. So. so I'm going to open my can of pet milk. Pour this in, and this is 12 fluid, ounce, 12 fluid ounces of pet milk. I'm gonna put it in my pan first. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the 10 and a half ounces of cheddar cheese soup. I have two cans that's going in here. This is the cheddar cheese soup, so this is going in. I'm going to add the other can. And then I'm going to beat up one egg. Beat up one egg and put this in here. One fourth cup of country crock spread. a little bit more but and I'm going to heat this up first so I heated up the um, country crock I'm going to just put this in here with this and just stir it up for the 
macaroni and cheese is on the stove. And I'm just letting this heat up. And it's been heated for a few minutes, so it's actually should be ready. So I usually spray the bottom of this aluminum pan. So I'm going to use two bags of sharp cheddar. And two bags of Kobe Jack. So let's start this process. The bottom of the pan is sprayed with nonstick um, spray. And then the butter is on there. So the next step is to put a layer of macaroni. So put the layer of macaroni, just spread it around. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to put the cheddar cheese on top of that. And then the Kobe Jack cheese goes on the same layer. And then I'm going to use this little spoon here to scoop out some of the mixture that I made and put that on top of the cheese. Then you just spread that around. So it looks like that. And then you just repeat it. You want to like sprinkle a little bit over the top, like that. And I didn't even use all of it. There's still some in here. And this is like a fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm just laying it to the side. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the pepper on top. Not measuring this, just sprinkle a little bit on the top. I love pepper. Then I'm gonna start layering again. I'm gonna put some macaroni on here. Spread that out. So it looks like that. And I'm going to put some more cheese. Well, you know what? Before I start that, I'm slow down a little bit. So now this is where I want to put a little bit more of this little salt on here. And this is like a fourth of a teaspoon and I haven't used all of it yet. So there's still some in there. And then put a little pepper on it. This is optional. I just put a little salt and pepper on mine. And then we're going to put some more sharp cheddar on here. And some more Kobe Jack. Just spread that around like that. This will probably be like three layers. I'm going to pour some more of this mixture on top of here, which is the cheddar cheese soup, the, the pet milk, the butter and one egg heated up on the stove. So I'm going to spread this on here like that. I'm going to spread this out. Just a little bit. Just take a couple of. And you don't need a lot of this. You just need a couple of tablespoons, <laughs> two or three at a time. Now this is a rich, very rich dish. So now I'm going to put the. I'm going to put the rest of 
the macaroni on here. So this is going to be my last layer. So this is actually three layers. Then I'm going to spread this out. Like that. And I'm going to use the rest I'm gonna use the rest of this fourth teaspoon of salt just to sprinkle over there a little bit. So it doesn't take a lot of salt in here, like a fourth of a teaspoon, and that's what I use for the whole dish. And then spread a little pepper over that. And I'm gonna put some more of this Kobe Jack cheese on top of here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put half of this on here because I'm gonna spread it with the mixture and then top it off with the rest of the cheeses. So that's how that goes like that. So I'm just gonna spread this on out, this cheese. Make sure all the macaroni is fully covered. So this is like four packs of cheese all together and that's more than enough. But you can decide how much cheese you want in your dish. You may or may not make a, a dish like this, maybe smaller, maybe bigger. And then you just adjust the amount of cheese and macaroni depending on your dish. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of this mixture out of here. Spread this over there like this, like so. And once this all melts, it's gonna be really good. Because the butter is in there, the cheese is in there, and the mixture is in there. And then I'm just gonna use the rest of the cheese. And that's gonna be the last topping. Once you make this a few times, you can just decide how much more or less you want to use for your recipe. But this is going to be very, very cheesy. The way I like it. Tuck these sides up a little bit. When it starts to heat up, we don't want to bubble over. And that's the completed dish. So now I'm going to put this in the oven for about 45 minutes. And that's how I make my macaroni and cheese. And it's already set to 400. So my food is done and this is the finished product. This is my vegetables. I got, I got the great value peas and carrots and the bird's eye super sweet corn. And I just put them in one cup of water. So this is gonna be the vegetables. This is the finished product of my macaroni and cheese. And this is my meatloaf. So everything came out just great. So my meatloaf, my macaroni and cheese, and these are the vegetables that we are going to have.